Hey members, happy Friday. Today brings us another episode of Functional Friday. So we're gonna start off with a, just everything's gonna be body weight today unless you would like to add weight. We're gonna start with a lunge and twist. So you're gonna lunge here, twist, twist. Now the challenge there is not twisting, but it's actually isolating movement in your hips, right? So I can lunge here and like twist twist but as you notice my hips kind of sway right so we want to lunge boom lock it in stabilize through our hips right twist and twist okay so you may have to slow that down which is totally fine uh, that will actually help your golf game and no doubt that you'll feel some stiffness and maybe through your lower lumbar your hips uh, your abs your obliques really any of those muscles can get tight as we sit and remain inactive, whether it be through quarantine or lack of activity, uh, those are all things that can happen. Even if you are active, if you're overactive, sometimes you can be tight anyway. Anyway, let's get back to it. So we're gonna go into a squat with overhead reach, okay? So we're gonna start off, lift our arms up, again, keeping our shoulders packed away from our ears, right? And then you're just gonna drop down into a deep squat, okay? Hands still up chest nice and tall, and then drive through the heels, okay? So you're gonna repeat that as many times as you can. From there, we're gonna go to an incline press, so uh, push-ups either on the wall, push-ups on a table, a bench. After the push-ups, you're gonna do an inverted row. So again, you can get underneath of a table, or if you have a bar or a TRX at your house, feel free to use that. The last exercise is a hip hinge or a single leg slash unilateral hip, hip hinge, which is actually just the bottom part of a deadlift, right? So if you're isolating movement in the hips, you're gonna push your hips back, keeping your hips behind your knees, knees over the feet, and you're gonna drive through, stand all the way up, and squeeze the glutes, fully extending the hips, fully extending the knees, okay? Now, if you wanna go ahead and challenge yourself a little bit, what you can do, is go ahead, lift one leg up, shoot the right leg back, that right hip comes back. Again, trying to keep your knee over your foot. Feel the stretch in the hamstring, drive through the heels all the way into full hip extension. So either way you do that, if you do both feet on the ground, you can do eight to 10 reps. If you do one foot up in the air, it's gonna be eight to 10 on each leg uh, or until failure, whichever happens first. This whole workout is going to be three sets of eight to 10 reps. Have fun with it, enjoy it, move well, and enjoy your weekend.